Dear viewers, let us learn about the online resources. During this lockdown situation, there are different kinds of platforms through which we can access the different e-resources like in Indian context, Swayam, Swayam Prabha, National Digital Library of India, Enlist which is a component of e Sindhu, then Open e-resources which are freely available in the internet. So let us learn about Swayam. Dear viewers, Swayam is a platform an initiative of MHRD Government of India where the different major bodies of India like UGC, EICT and other bodies are participating. They are providing the different e-resources like text videos where you can learn and also there is a provision of certification. During this COVID situation, they have maintained a very important portal through which you can access the different e-resources like videos, like PDF files. These are the different courses for undergraduate courses, for PG courses. Suppose you want to access the different collections of undergraduate courses. So this is available in Swayam platform. Once you click any option according to your requirement, it will show you certain videos through which you can learn practically. Also it will provide you the certain study materials. You can download these materials into your smartphones or also to your desktop computers. Dear viewers, it is a self-learning, it is very important platform. So this platform also you can use in your smartphones. These are the courses which is already completed in Swayam. The resources which are already available in those courses, you can access those resources also through this completed courses option. You can watch the videos, you can download the different kinds of learning materials. Different subjects are available in this platform. So in this way, you can also use Swam in your mobile phone. Just download the Swam app through the Play Store and then you start, you can log in using your gmail account the same gmail account you are using you can sign in with that particular account once you log in then you can access the different resources available in swayam platform all the other things are quite similar as i have shown earlier in this video for knowing more about Swayam, you can consult my earlier videos in the same channel. Now I will be talking about Swayam Prabha. This name is quite similar but there is a difference. Swayam Prabha is a group of 32 DTH channel through which you can access, you can learn different kinds of videos through your television set. You will able to access the different courses. Here what you can do if you have this TV or if you have DD disc then this facility is available. But right now for Tata Sky and Airtel, this facility is not available. So within your TV set, you can enjoy the different learning videos. Also, there is a portal maintained by Infinite Center called Swam Prabha, through which you will be known about the different programs which will be telecasted. That is current program, which are the upcoming programs. The programs are telecasted every day for four or five times. This information you can collect from the Swayam Prabha website. Then there is an archive that means the program which are already telecasted. You can also enjoy these videos through this portal. So this was all about Swayam Prabha. Now let us move to the next part of this video that is NDL National Digital Library of India. You know that this platform is very important because all the digital libraries, all the institutional repositories of India are club together and are providing their services through their single platform that is National Digital Library maintained by IIT Kharagpur. Now for this COVID situation they have specialized their services. Now first of all you can customize this platform according to your own languages. Suppose I will show you in Assamese language how the platform can be customized and you can work with your own languages. So before moving to this, you have to register first in the NDL. 
once you register the registration link will be sent to your registered mail you have to activate this mail once you registered your account is activated now you can access the different collections available in the ndl website suppose i will access few books on history languages so in this way you can access different collections of different subjects and also you can download these materials into your own desktop in this way different videos different questions papers available in the ndl platform also the same platform you can access through your mobile phone you just download this ndl app through the play store and then you registered and then you access the different collections like books question papers articles or different documents once you download these materials these materials will be downloaded in your apps so once you do practice of your own you will able to know so this is about ndl in your mobile now i will show the next part of this video which is enlist enlist it is a component college component of e south sindhu maintained by enfilinet center it is an initiative of msrd here you can access more than 31 lakhs books and 6000 e journals students of the colleges can request their librarian to provide their username and password the librarian will definitely help you in this regard there are different e resources like e books and e journals available in the ndl platforms from the reputed publishers of the world so once you go through the enlist website you will know much more information about this there is a search option through this option you can search the different documents and then you can save these documents into your own desktop also you can use your mobile phone for accessing the enlist there is an option called frequently asked questions in the enlist website from which you can gather much more informations about enlist what is enlist how you can obtain the membership of enlist and different questions if you are having in your mind the answer is already predefined now i will move to the last part of this video which is open access e resources open access e resources are the resources which are freely available in internet in a single sense so these resources you need not need to pay any money for this there are different e resources platforms south ganga where you can find the theses of the different universities available in india all the universities which are providing the research in the phd form you can access the theses also there is a directory of open access journals you can access the journals of the world also there are directory of open access books you can access the books available in the different platforms also there is a directory of open access repositories then project gutenberg is very important for e books and all you can download the e books again there is an internet archive where you can find different e books then central e library of tejpur university they have maintained a very good website for open access resources you can consult these websites also so viewers i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you like this please subscribe our channel thank you very much